Yes, hello there. This message is both for Kent Montgomery and Christine Montgomery. This is William Montgomery speaking. I can be reached here at 970-825-4421 or 970-412-5463. I left a voicemail for Kent on his work phone, just making sure that this uh, reaches him on his phone, home phone as well. And, uh, of course, Christine, I think this applies to you as well. Here's what's happening. I need the phone numbers for all my extended family members. And if I can't get them through you guys and I can't get them anywhere else, I, uh, I'll find them eventually. But it's not going to bode well for your guys' case of defamation that you've now forced me to open up on you now. I actually have been trying to give you guys good faith for several years now, uh, hoping that uh, uh, you were just mistaken and correctable. Uh, but at this point, uh, you guys have proven to me that you have incorrect information about me that you have compiled and that you are unwilling to relinquish. You're not willing to talk to me about it. You aren't willing to uh, You're not base willing any... to open up a forum to discuss yeah, it. Yeah, there's no forum, and there's no factual basis for it at all. So, in a nutshell, that's called defamation. And if I'm not able to get help from, say, my extended family, because incorrect information is being spewed to them, that's called libel and slander, and it's illegal. So, uh, if you guys don't want to give me the phone numbers yourselves, go right ahead. It's probably not going to look very good for in court. It's going to look questionable. It's going to look extremely questionable. So uh, maybe you guys should go look up defamation. Uh, maybe that might actually help. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have much choice left when I can't have conversations because I have words used like you boys and lifestyle choices. You guys do realize that if you don't actually have the correct information, it's defamation. And also... I'm actually having to charge the uh, Fort Collins Police Services for that document that you guys read that's not correct. It was out of context. It actually wasn't even supposed to be read by you guys, uh, not in its entirety. You're actually not even supposed to touch it. You're supposed to leave the, these things up to attorneys. So I'm actually, yeah, who, wherever it is, it's called misinformation and it's called defamation. And I'm literally not getting the help I need because you guys don't believe in reality, in fact, in actual substantiated truth. And wherever you got this misinformation from is where I get to track it down. And whoever you give it to is where I get to go next. And like I said, my next step is to go to the extended family members. If I get a hold of them and the information that uh, you guys have told them is not the same information that I would be telling them, that is the same information that's fact out there, who's do you think the defamation charge is going to come back to, guys? You. So just do me a favor. I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. I just want my extended family phone numbers. I think I have a right to those. And if you guys say that you don't need to give it to me, that you already told them, that's my point. I don't have the uh, capacity to validate what you've said.